Today we're going to be showing you the best pass defense in Madden 24, and it's going to come to us out of the dollar 3-2 formation. And we're in the Kansas City defense playbook. You could also find this in a lot of other playbooks, 4-6 multiple defense. Dollar is, is really a great formation. And what we're going to do, biggest thing I can tell you is we're going to put our auto alignment to base. One of the best parts about dollar is it is a symmetrical formation, which means that it has the same amount of players to the left that it's going to have to the right. And so you can create a lot of cool coverage concepts behind the blitz. Now the defense we're going to be showing you today is DB Fire 2. If you want to get my full and updated dollar three two defensive ebook, join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, and you can sign up by heading down to the description and uh, clicking the link down below. It's only ten dollars, and it will get you access to all of our ebooks and updates, everything that we need you need to know to take your Madden game to the next level and start getting more stops in Madden 24. Now, the way this blitz is going to work is we are going to be taking advantage of the placement of these slot corners. So we're going to pinch our defense, and you're going to notice that these slot corners are going to be a very similar horizontal depth. That depth is just right, so they will basically, um, the line will struggle to target these slot corners. So we're going to go ahead and pass commit. If you think they're going to run, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But you should see here, you should get at least one, if not two, slot corners completely free at the quarterback. Okay, so in this example, again, even if I stand over here, um, you'll see we're able to just trigger this really, really good blitz. Very simple uh, blitz, very effective blitz, and it's just it's just really good because it's a send five pressure. So we're only sending five people at the quarterback, and we're at, we're at least getting one person free. Now, I want to show you what makes this blitz, I think, super special in the fact that it can actually come in even if they do block a running back. And the way we're going to get it to come in if they block a running back is we're going to basically try to get all the way over here to the right. Now, you see right there that does pick it up, but I'm going to show you a way to kind of guarantee that this is going to come in. When you pinch the dollar defense, you're kind of creating essentially a makeshift 3-4 odd. And then we're going to blitz our linebacker to create the pinch buck zero style of blitz. And what you're going to see here is it's going to give us this instant B-gap pressure even when they block a running back. So we're able to get pressure um, against a blocked running back. We're able to get pressure against a blocked tight end. Let me show you the blocked tight end. If they block the tight end, the pressure should still come off that left side. And you see this is relatively quick pressure. You have about a second and a half to make a read, and routes are going to struggle uh, to consistently develop downfield. So you have a lot of versatility with this defense. And the cool part about dollar also is the fact that the coverage can look identical to the pressure. So if we wanted to create some coverage concepts, we could run a curl flat, maybe an outside quarter, um, cross man the slot receiver with maybe a third, and basically do something semblance of coverage like this. Kind of an adjusted coverage defense, but actually really effective. And then now we're going to utilize these three-man sheds, which we know in Madden have been really, really effective, especially if you can get your user down in the box. Now, I will say the six-man out of dollar is probably the only six-man in Madden 23 that does have potential to come in, even if they do block seven. Sometimes the slot corners will loop around the outsides of the tight ends. Um, but this is also a really good blitz regardless of formation. It doesn't really matter if it's bunch. Um, let's say, for example, that you're playing somebody in a two-by-two two, uh, kind of tight style set. Uh, I actually think it's a little better against tight than it is against bunch. And that's just because both slot corners have a really good shot at, uh, at being able uh, to come home. Now, if you're not worried about a running threat, um, when you're worried about a run threat, you want to go ahead and pinch your defense. You want to go ahead and stand about right in this gap. If they do run the ball, you just want to kind of try to shoot in, muddy it up, and take away those interior running lanes. If you do think they are going to run the ball, I wouldn't pass commit at – um, unless you're like super not concerned uh, in dollar this year, they certainly can pancake you. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and when I say pancake you, that just means if you're not blitzing more than three or four guys. So we're sitting five here, so we should be OK. But the pass commit is going to make the run a little bit more open. But again, really, really good blitz. And. With this defense, um, because sending five, I think, is the best way to play this year right now, you really want to send five, and you really want to kind of play a little bit aggressive. So throw some hard flats on the field. Try to take away the flat. Um, these, When you start playing a little bit more aggressive, 
it's going to get you more stops in this game. At the end of the day, Madden 24 is the most offensive Madden I've ever played. And so you're really playing for really one to two stops um, a game. If you can get if you can get two stops against a good player, there you see it able to come in on both edges. If you can get two stops a game against a really good player, you're going to be in really good shape. And again, don't be afraid to drop these guys in vertical hooks and maybe even drop this guy into a deep third. This is a very good uh, coverage defense as well and very adaptable. I don't think in this year's game it's as critical to bring your safeties down in zone coverage. I do think it is critical to bring them down in man. But if you can get the hang of bringing these safeties down, I just think it makes the blitz and the coverage better. And as you can see, I mean, the blitz is just absolutely super fast, and you're going to get it in relatively quickly. I'm going to get my entire dollar defensive ebook and learn everything that I'm doing offensively and defensively in Madden 24. Join the Patreon. It's only $10. It'll take your Madden game to the next level. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.